Amitabha, Sanskrit pronunciation, Mtabhi, also known as Amita or Amitayas, is a celestial Buddha according to the scriptures of Mahayana Buddhism. Amitabha is the principal Buddha in Pure Land Buddhism, a branch of East Asian Buddhism. In Vajrayana Buddhism, Amitabha is known for his longevity attribute, magnetizing red fire element, the aggregate of discernment, pure perception and the deep awareness of emptiness of phenomena. According to these scriptures, Amitabha possesses infinite merit resulting from good deeds over countless past lives as a bodhisattva named Dharmakara. Amitabha means, "...infinite light", and Amitayas means, "...infinite life", so Amitabha is also called, "...the Buddha of immeasurable light and life". <laughs> Doctrine According to the larger Sutra of Immeasurable Life, Amitabha was, in very ancient times and possibly in another system of worlds, a monk named Dharmakara. In some versions of the Sutra, Dharmakara is described as a former king who, having come into contact with Buddhist teachings through the Buddha Lokasvararaja, renounced his throne. He then resolved to become a Buddha and so to come into possession of a Buddhaksetra Buddha field", a realm existing in the primordial universe outside of ordinary reality, produced by a Buddha's merit, possessed of many perfections. These resolutions were expressed in his 48 vows, which set out the type of Buddha field Dharmakara aspired to create, the conditions under which beings might be born into that world, and what kind of beings they would be when reborn there. In the versions of the Sutra widely known in China, Vietnam, Korea and Japan, Dharmakara's 18th vow was that any being in any universe desiring to be reborn into Amitabha's pure land Chinese, Jingtu Pinyin, Jingtu, Japanese pronunciation, Jodo, Korean, Jengtu Romaha, Jengtu, Vietnamese, Tindu and calling upon his name even as few as ten times will be guaranteed rebirth there. His 19th vow promises that he, together with his bodhisattvas and other blessed Buddhists, will appear before those who, at the moment of death, call upon him. This openness and acceptance of all kinds of people has made belief in Pure Lands one of the major influences in Mahayana Buddhism. Pure Land Buddhism seems to have first become popular in Gandhara, from where it spread to Central Asia and China. The Sutra goes on to explain that Amitabha, after accumulating great merit over countless lives, finally achieved Buddhahood and is still residing in his land of Sukhavati, whose many virtues and joys are described. The basic doctrines concerning Amitabha and his vows are found in three canonical Mahayana texts. Infinite Life Sutra, Amitayajana Sutra, Amitabha Sutra. Through his efforts, Amitabha created a pure land called Sukhavati, Sanskrit, possessing happiness. Sukhavati is situated in the uttermost west, beyond the bounds of our own world. By the power of his vows, Amitabha has made it possible for all who call upon him to be reborn into this land, there to undergo instruction by him in the Dharma and ultimately become bodhisattvas and Buddhas in their turn, the ultimate goal of Mahayana Buddhism. From there, these same bodhisattvas and Buddhas return to our world to help yet more people. Amitabha is the Buddha of comprehensive love. He lives in the West represented as a meditating Buddha and works for the enlightenment of all beings represented as a blessing Buddha. His most important enlightenment technique is the visualization of the surrounding world as a paradise. Those who see his world as a paradise awaken his enlightenment energy. The world can be seen as a paradise by a corresponding positive thought, enlightenment thought or by sending light to all beings, wish all beings to be happy. After the Amitabha doctrine, one can come to paradise in the pure land of Amitabha, if they visualize at their death Amitabha in the heaven sun over their head western horizon, think his name as a mantra and leave the body as a soul through the crown chakra. Vajrayana Buddhism Amitabha is also known in Tibet, Mongolia, and other regions where Tibetan Buddhism is practiced. In the highest Yogatantra of Tibetan Buddhism, Amitabha is considered one of the five Jnani Buddhas together with Aksovya, Amoashadi, Ratnasambhava, and Vairocana, who is associated with the Western direction and the Skanda of Samna, the aggregate of distinguishing recognition and the deep awareness of individualities. His consort is Pandaravasini. His two main disciples the same number as Gautama Buddha are the Bodhisattvas Vajrapani and Avalokitesvara, the former to his left and the latter to his right. In Tibetan Buddhism, there exist a number of famous prayers for taking rebirth in Sukhavati One of these was written by Zhe Tsongkhapa on the request of Manjushri for a discussion and translation of the most important prayers in the Tibetan tradition see Halkyas, the Panchen Lamas and Shamapas are considered to be emanations of Amitabha. He is frequently invoked in Tibet either as Amitabha, especially in the Foa practices or as Amitayas, especially in practices relating to longevity and preventing an untimely death. 
In Shingon Buddhism, Amitabha is seen as one of the thirteen Buddhas to whom practitioners can pay homage. Shingon, like Tibetan Buddhism, also uses special devotional mantras for Amitabha, though the mantras used differ. Amitabha is also one of the Buddhas featured in the womb realm mandala used in Shingon practices, and sits to the west, which is where the pure land of Amitabha is said to dwell. Mantras Amitabha is the center of a number of mantras in Vajrayana practices. The Sanskrit form of the mantra of Amitabha is Om Amitabha Ri, Devanagari, Om Amitabha Ri, which is pronounced in its Tibetan version as Om Ami Dewa Hri. Sanskrit, Om Ri. His mantra in Shingon Buddhism is On Amirita Taize Kara Un, Japanese, On Amirita Taize Kara Un, which represents the underlying Indic form Om Amritha Taya Hara Hum. In addition to using the mantras listed above, many Buddhist schools invoke Amitabha's name in a practice known as Nyanfo Nyanfu in Chinese and Nembutsu in Japanese. Names in various languages The proper form of Amitabha's name in Sanskrit is Amitabha, masculine, and the nominative singular is Amitabha. This is a compound of the Sanskrit words Amita, without bound, infinite, and Ao, light, splendor. Consequently, the name is to be interpreted as, he who possesses light without bound, he whose splendor is infinite. The name Amitayas nominative form Amitaya is also used for the Sambhogakaya aspect of Amitabha, particularly associated with longevity. He is mostly depicted sitting and holding in his hands a vessel containing the nectar of immortality. In Tibetan Buddhism, Amitayas is also one of the three deities of long life Amitayas, White Tara and Yuznizavijaya. Amitayas being a compound of Amita infinite", and Ayus life", and so means, he whose life is boundless. In Chinese, a mi tu of amituofo, sometimes pronounced amituofo, is the Chinese pronunciation for the Sanskrit name of the Amitabha Buddha, Amita Buddha. The amituo is the transliteration of the Sanskrit word amita, which means boundless. Wu liang, wu liang. Fo is the Chinese word for Buddha. In Vietnamese, Korean, and Japanese, the same Chinese characters used for Amitabha are used to represent his name, though they are pronounced slightly differently. Vietnamese, a Dai Da Fat, Korean, Amita Bull, Japanese, Amita Butsu. In addition to transliteration, the name Amitabha has also been translated into Chinese using characters which, taken together, convey the meaning, infinite light. In the same fashion, the name Amitayas, infinite life has been translated as Wuliang Shou Wulangshou". These translated names are not, however, very commonly used. In Japanese, Amitabha is also called Amida Nyore, Ami Tuo Rula the Tathagata Amitabha. In Tibetan, Amitabha is called, Wiley, Odpag Med, Thl, Opakmi and in its reflex form as Amitayas, Wiley, Tshedpag Med, Thl, Sapakmi. They are iconographically distinct. Iconography Amitabha is said to display 84,000 auspicious and distinguishing marks reflecting his many virtues. Amitabha can often be distinguished by his mudra. Amitabha is often depicted, when shown seated, displaying the meditation mudra, thumbs touching and fingers together as in the Great Buddha of Kamakura, Lian Kang Da Fo at Kotaku in or the Exposition Mudra, while the earth touching mudra, right hand pointed downward over the right leg, palm inward, is reserved for a seated Gautama Buddha alone. He can also be seen holding a lotus in his hands while displaying the meditation mudra. There is a difference between Amitayas and Amitabha. Amitayas the Buddha of Infinite Life, and Amitabha — the Buddha of Infinite Light — are essentially identical, being reflective images of one another. Sutras in which Gautama Buddha expounds the glories of Sukhavati, the Pure Lands, speak of the presiding Buddha sometimes as Amitabha and sometimes as Amitayas. When depicted as Amitayas he is depicted in fine clothes and jewels and as Amitabha in simple monk's clothing. They are also simply known as Amida in the Chinese and Japanese tradition. The image of the gold-colored statue in the article is of Amitayas as he is wearing a five-pointed crown, which is the easiest way to distinguish them. Amitayas is an emanation of Amitabha. Amitabha is the head of the lotus family. When standing, Amitabha is often shown with left arm bare and extended downward with thumb and forefinger touching, with the right hand facing outward also with thumb and forefinger touching. 
The meaning of this mudra is that wisdom symbolized by the raised hand is accessible to even the lowest beings, while the outstretched hand shows that Amitabha's compassion is directed at the lowest beings, who cannot save themselves. When not depicted alone, Amitabha is often portrayed with two assistants, Avalokitesvara on the right and Mahesthamaprapta on the left. In Vajrayana, Amitabha is the most ancient of among the Jnani Buddhas. He is of red color originating from the red seed syllable re. He represents the cosmic element of Sanjana name. His vehicle is the peacock. He exhibits Samadhi Mudra his two palms folded face up, one on top of the other, lying on his lap. The lotus is his sign. When represented on the stupa, he always faces toward west. He is worshipped thinking that one can have salvation. <laughs> Archaeological origins The first known epigraphic evidence for Amitabha is the bottom part of a statue found in Govind Nagar, Pakistan and now located at Government Museum, Mathura. The statue is dated to the 28th year of the reign of Huviska, i.e., sometime in the latter half of the 2nd century during the Kushan Empire, and was apparently dedicated to Amitabha Buddha. By a family of merchants, the first known sutra mentioning Amitabha is the translation into Chinese of the Prachutpana Samadhi Sutra by the Kushan monk Lokaksema around 180. This work is said to be at the origin of pure land practices in China. The appearance of such literature and sculptural remains at the end of the 2nd century suggests that the doctrine of Amitabha probably developed during the 1st and 2nd centuries. Furthermore, there are sculptures of Amitabha in Jnani mudras as well as bronzes of Amitabha in Abhya mudra from the Gandhara era of the 1st century, suggesting the popularity of Amitabha during that time. One of the last prayer busts of Amitabha can be found in the trademark black stone of the Pala Empire, which was the last Buddhist empire of India and lost its influence in the 12th century due to Muslim conquests on the Indian subcontinent. See also Topic Notes Topic Bibliography Karashima, Sishi, two thousand and nine, on Amitabha, Amitayas, Sukhavati and the Amitabha Vuha, Bulletin of the Asia Institute, New Series, twenty three, one hundred and twenty one to one hundred and thirty via JSTOR, subscription required. External links The Buddha Speaks of Amitabha Sutra Pure Land. Shingon Buddhism, Amida Nyore, Buddha of Infinite Light and Life H. H. Chetsang Ranpoche about Amitabha and Dawakan.